Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows. Today we have a new future for the Quest platform with a subscription leak. We have Quest 3 accessories also discovered and a huge announcement around virtual reality age restrictions on the Quest as well. And I would like to highlight on how curious the world is around the future of XR and more. There's lots of good news stories here, which is what I like to see. But firstly, I want to let you guys know of a couple of things such as there is a Quest 3 giveaway going on right now from Skydive who are bringing Arashi's Castle of Sin to modern day VR. So if you want a chance to win one of five Quest 3 headsets up for grabs, I'll leave a link down below in the description and keep your fingers crossed. And also I'd like to mention a lovely happy birthday to Among Us. The developers are in a sloth and brought to VR by Shell Games. So check out this happy birthday moment. I couldn't help myself. Just don't judge. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Among Us. Happy birthday to you. Okay, that is definitely enough chin wagging. Let's get started. So someone called Tweeting28 tagged Meta and posted on Twitter that they found a card in the app that said our VR subscription service is here. They discovered this whilst they were messing around trying to cast some VR content with a friend. And in it, it says you can get two titles for just $7.99 a month, titled the Meta Quest Plus. This would be great news for developers to get a bit of extra dollar in their pockets from titles that have plateaued in sales or are rather old. And also for new gamers who who have recently bought a Quest 2 or they're going to get the Quest 3 later this year to try out titles that you would not necessarily try. Because what I've found of, with VR games, maybe you have too, is that games you expect that you would not like could easily turn into personal favorites. And puzzlers, I feel, are a victim of this. But it does say titles, so it may be games, it may be apps. I suspect well-being will be a big one and fitness as well during the start of the next year, that sort of thing. And this is sort of corroborating something that we saw in March as well. This gave more information on the topic, such as this is a licensing deal, so you only have access for games for as long as you are subscribed. You will not own them forever. But a month to complete two VR games is plenty. This also states something that I said earlier, that it's games and apps. And is this the first step before they start charging us for online services? I don't think so personally. I think that'll be a silly move in a sector that is growing and still struggles for its user base to have a consistently active online presence, but we shall see. I'll have more information on this soon, so stick around and I'll keep you updated on this. Now, moving on to Jason Rubin, a VP at Meta. He updated his profile picture and my goodness, how the community are so eagle-eyed. It looks like they noticed that the Quest 3 on his head is paired with an Elite strap and not the Elite strap from the Quest 2. You can see by the hole on the side here. So we know that the Quest 3 comes with a fabric strap again, like the Quest 2, not the most comfortable thing. And in this image, you can clearly see a very similar looking, snap prone looking strap that we've seen before. In this side by side view, you can tell the difference and see how rigid it is. I also think mixing this kind of comfort that you get from the Elite strap with the new slimmer form factor of the Quest 3 is gonna make the headset so dang comfortable. And with mixed reality getting a big improvement or at least a claimed improvement by Meta, longer play sessions and comfort are going to be needed. The previous strap without an extended battery was $60 and I don't really expect that price to change. I am speculating it could, but I think that was quite pricey to begin with. And does this mean that the Quest 2 accessories are not going to be compatible with the Quest 3? I know that's a concern of many, but that could be the case. But it looks like the arms are rather similar. Maybe you just can't access some of the ports. We'll see. Now onto the huge news. On Meta's blog post, they posted a long piece of text with a headline that says, introducing new parent managed Meta accounts for families. And at first you'd be like, Gosh, blah, blah, blah. But if you read a bit, it says, starting later this year, parents will be able to set up parent-managed Meta accounts for Meta Quest 2 and Quest 3 headsets for children aged between 10 and 12. 
Currently, the meta quest is restricted to 13 plus players. Although people younger than that obviously use it all the dang time, but you do run the risk of getting your account revoked for breaking the guidelines. With the new age restriction being of 10 and over though, meta gives parents the tools to restrict the kinds of apps that they can download, restrict the time usage, no advertisements, and Meta will also adjust the experience that you see within the headset, curate that content when you sign up a preteen child. And this is actually a really good thing, as virtual reality is not just about gaming or getting Pavlov headshots, which granted is a brilliant part of it. It's a huge educational tool that the next generation would benefit from. You can travel the world without having to leave your front room. And I highly doubt those buying a 3500 Apple Pro headset are going to let their 10 year old mess with it. The child will need a parent to set up the account Otherwise, the restriction of 13 plus is still going to apply. And I just thought, if you don't want adverts within your headset, you can become a child, not literally become a child, but create an account as if you were a child and then allow yourself free reign on that kiddie account. And I wonder if they know when you're going to turn 13, because Facebook will know you have to sign up your child, that they will drop this feature or it's going to persist? Is it just going to allow them to have free reign because they're now old enough, I wonder? If you're watching and you're under 13, Gosh, that is a sentence that actually made me quite uncomfortable. But what I'm trying to say is you can now enjoy the meta quest when in combination with these parental controls. So if that was stopping you from getting a headset, you can now enjoy VR. Something interesting now is that the Apple Vision Pro looks to be a literal vision professional as it's Apple's most watched video. The world has gone bananas. It showed that people are curious about the future of this tech and also only when Apple do it. But it shows the power of that brand for sure. And we knew that this would give VR and XR a massive push, a massive boost of awareness in the community. It has over 50 million views. Tech that many said is dead or dying is now the most watched tech video on Apple's account. People are curious. Ha! I also found this funny as well. So when I googled virtual reality, this meta headline came up as the first thing. Surprise your father with VR. Let dad join in on the fun. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's just my mind. Also, if many of you were curious around the new games that are coming out in the VR space, please check out my latest video. I condensed a two-hour showcase of game reveals into 17 minutes. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I am so glad that today was nothing but good news so I can end it the way I am supposed to. Happy gaming, guys. Good day!